Welcome to the WCTC Library. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use Britannica Library in order to find country as well as cultural information. To start on the library's website, you can go to A to Z databases and go to the B section and then find Britannica Library. If you're at home, off campus, you'll need to log in with your WCTC credentials. If you already know your topic, you can type in what you would like in this um, search bar here, or you can go directly to the reference center. And for those of you who don't know, Britannica Library is a database that is full of encyclopedia knowledge as well as encyclopedia articles. So on the front page here, we see we can explore articles as well as images, videos, and also biographies. If you scroll down further, you see sometimes they'll have information um, that's current or up to date for a particular theme. But then there's also a section where you can compare countries. So for instance, we go to explore, compare countries, and let's say that we wanted to maybe compare Albania and the United States. We can select both of those countries and then we can find some statistics that um, deal with both of the countries as well as related articles and media that will take you straight there. So I can go straight to an, an article about Albania if I desire. Um, and then once I'm in my article, I can go to the table of contents and I can skip to a particular section. So for instance, I could skip to the people section. I could learn about the different languages that are spoken there. I could maybe go to cultural life um, and see maybe some social customs that are unique to Albania, et cetera. And I can do the same for the United States. If I decide I want to use this information or I want to come back to it, I can select send and I can email it to myself or save it to Google Drive or to uh, Microsoft Teams. I can also print the full article and I could have this translated. I could have this read aloud. I can change the font size if I desire. And I can also find my citation information. I would just need to make sure that APA is selected and then I can copy and paste it. Um, but you do wanna double check the reference and make sure um, that it's what your instructor wants and it goes along with the APA guide. So that's how you can compare different countries. And we're gonna go back to the homepage and something else that we can do in Britannica Reference Center. So I'm just gonna go back to this page that we started on. Now I was saying you can do some exploring. So if you already know your topic that you're looking for, you could type it in there. If there was a person or a country or a particular people group that you were looking for, you can do a search that way. Or you can look in articles. So if I go to the article section, and perhaps there's a particular religious group that I would like to know more about. I can click on this section, philosophy and religion. And if I scroll down, then on the left-hand side again, select religion. And if you had not maybe chosen which religious group you want to um, do a report on, you could kind of look and see what is available, what different information is available related to different types of religions. And so, if I decide, okay, I want to learn more about Buddhism, I can select that. And then it's going to give me um, all of the articles in Britannica that are related to Buddhism. And so some of these may be about particular aspects of that religion. Some of this may be about certain people. Um, or if I wanted to go straight to Buddhism, then here's the actual article for everything related to Buddhism. And then same thing, we have our table of contents. You can skip to certain sections and then all the other information is going to be the same. So you can use this not only for religious groups, but um, you can also find information. We can scroll along the top here. So if, for instance, if I wanted information about maybe a particular people group. So if I go to society and then if I select peoples of the world, then I have all different types of people groups that I could get information about. So again, if maybe if I wanted something related to African-Americans, I can select this. And then same thing, uh, if I go to the table of contents, now it's going to give me 
all different types of information. Um, some of this is historical information um, in relation to African American people. I can find things about names. I can again find history, certain movements, um, and then just different contributions maybe that this particular people group, in this, in this case, African Americans, um, have done. So, and all the citation information and sending information is going to be the same. So um, that's there as well. So again, you can look for different religions as well as um, cultural groups and society. But then, like I said, if there's something that you're looking for in particular, then you can do a search. So if you were looking maybe for something on Generation X, I can type in my term here, my search term, and then my article comes up, Generation X. And same thing here. I have a little bit, this is a little bit shorter than some other articles, but I am able to find information about that particular people group. So again, this is um, how you can look up different people groups as well as how you can look up different countries. And same, we did do a country comparison at the beginning, but if you already knew a country that you were looking for, you could type that in as well and not have to go through the comparison. And then whatever you're looking for um, will come up as well. So that's how you use Britannica. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel to contact us, feel free to contact us, excuse me, in the library. And our contact information is on the right-hand side. And again, you can always chat with us as well uh, if you need further help or clarification. Thank you so much and good luck using Britannica Library.